Each week in our Extra Point Show, Darby Brown and Chad Vothreen bring you all the latest highlights from across the football games in the area. But what about these players off the field? How does their football knowledge stack up in a game like Madden? And what do these players really like? We get to sit down and go more in depth with these players each week in our new segment we're calling KWTX Sports in the Game. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. Well, we're back in the studio. Got some sticks here in our hands, and we're here with Colleen Chaparral, star running back, Keith Tyler. And Keith, man, you're you're just coming off of a huge game. That's obviously why you're in here. We're gonna get into that in just a little bit. But dude, Keith, welcome to, to the studio. We're happy to have you here. Well, I'm glad to be here, man. I'm really glad. Absolutely. So, uh, I mean, have you played Madden before? Or are yeah, you? I played Madden before, but not really next gen. I'm yeah. Play next gen a lot. Well, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see. I guess if you know this is uh, going to be a good game. I mean, they, everyone's been telling me I'm I'm good at Madden. I don't know, but I, I want you to. I want to be humbled, and I want you to, <laughs> to just to break me apart, man. So. I the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Niners and the boys. And it's coming. That's awesome. Okay, okay. so I, I guess we're starting here. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm kicking off. All right, Keith, good luck, man. Give me some. Good game. Well, yes, good game. Well, well, we'll see how this turns out. <laughs> so so I, I know, obviously, you're, you're a running back. But in Madden, it's probably a lot of people pass more than they run, but are, when you've played this, I mean, have you, are you more run friendly just because of what position you oh, play? Oh yeah, I'd be running the ball. Okay, the ball okay, the ball. awesome. Do you, pass like here and there. Yeah, well, see what I did there? I'm getting a little bit of your strategy, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, well, first of all, have you been playing football for a while, or well, when did you start playing? Uh, I've been playing football since fifth grade. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and I just been in middle school. I went to Maine in middle school. Yeah. yeah I played football over there. Yeah. I was playing a whole different position. Really? Yeah, I was on the line. Oh, I was playing D-line. Yeah. Oh, oh are man. you serious? Dude. <laughs> Good work there. <laughs> I did not expect you to uh, fumble the ball. I know, I know. See, I, 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 do, I do respect that you are punting and you're not just going for it because then you'd be losing so many yards. Or giving me, at least. Because based off our drives right now, mm -hmm. you know, I think I'm gonna take it to the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That, that could have been, that was like, you were a tackle away from it being very bad for me. <laughs> yeah, we should have wrapped them up all the way back. Yeah. There. <laughs> That's kind of why I, I like playing with the Cowboys, you know. And maybe I'll hit them again. There we go. There, no, that's, oh man. You're not, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Was that Dak? Did Dak make the tackle? <laughs> I try to, to do the, uh, the cut juke. Yeah. Dang, dude, you're, you're set up pretty nicely. You gotta take this one in. Oh. Oh, good catch, man. <laughs> that's, yeah, dude, that's first score of the game. So you always play with the Cowboys? Not, not really. I'll, I'll play the Texans a lot. I'll play the Cowboys mainly because CD. But then other than that, I, I'll, I'll mix it up a bit. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Jalen Hurts. So like, I, Jalen Hurts. yeah, he, he yeah. Oh. So I mean, he, he, he's great. Dude, you always play the Bills, or that's just who you've been playing with? No, Dak. Man, this is real life Dak in action right here, man. <laughs> Getting sacked. Um, uh, yeah, I always play with the Bills. Yeah. But I, I'll go between the Bills and the Browns. Okay, I yeah, yeah. Back and forth with the them. Browns, yeah. The Dog Pound, man. That, that'd that be a fun team to play with. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, man. I was expecting you to throw that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, there, no one else was open. Oh, man, good work. I'm gonna take that to the crib. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Come no, on, sprint, no. dude. No, what are you doing? <laughs> he cooked me, I ain't gonna lie. He cooked me. He put some moves on, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. That's a good start, that's a good start, but I still got some work to do, dude. So I guess when you're picking plays, are you ever kind of thinking like, oh, we run this similar play at Chaparral, you know, like Coach Harry runs this play, or are you, is that how you kind of play this game sometimes, or is it just? Uh, not really, not really. Uh, what's it called, our offense, 
it's a slot T. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and of course you're just answering a question in mid mid sentence. You just get casually get a pick. Your fourth one, <laughs> dude. You're eating me up. <laughs> Trying to keep getting these picks. Yeah. I think it. I think it came down to me picking Dak, man. Man, I don't, I don't know, but of course I'm gonna blame it on. It's all on me. <laughs> so far, I can tell you're kind of changed it up from your run strategy. You're uh, you're throwing it a bunch. So there we go. That's a good pickup. Trying to get takedowns right now. Yeah. So so wait. So remind me, when did you start playing football, or what age did you start playing football? When you moved uh, back, right? When I moved back, I think 15. Okay, dang. So, so you, you just started playing then. Yeah, I just started playing. <laughs> so, so the, in, in you're what, 17, 16, 17? I'm 16 now. Man, so, so you, this, is this your second or third full season then? Uh, I think uh, this is my second, third. Wow, that's, I can't believe that. For, and so it's you had to have like a huge, you know, 280 yard game, five touchdowns. I mean, that that was that like the biggest game of your career so far in just, yeah, you know, for a couple of years, but games, that, that that's crazy. So, I mean, man. Oh. oh, you see that? <laughs> Dude, oh. Dak, man. <laughs> Put the moves on. Yeah, me. at least it got out of bounds. <laughs> so so I, so basketball was probably then your first sport in, in terms of just like, was that, is that kind of more of your passion than football or how do you I see I got a lot of passion for uh, football. For football more? Yeah. Is it because you're just so good or is it because you just like the game more? Oh, I like the game. Yeah. I like, I like being physical. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I'm embarrassing myself, Keith. What do you think? Am I doing okay? Uh, as of right now, you is not doing okay. <laughs> I feel like I started off strong. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Here we go. This is it. Oh, man. Oh, I threw out of the pocket there. Okay, that, that was terrible. Dude, I'm embarrassing myself. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. Okay, now it's uh, halftime. I'm, I'm down 21 nothing to, to Keith, and uh, but we, we want to get to know Keith just a little bit more. And so, uh, Keith, first of all, I mean, big reason you're here 282 yards, five touchdowns, uh, and y'all's win against Pflugerville uh, just a week ago. I mean, well, that's got to be the biggest game of your career. Talk, talk to me just more about what, how special of a night that was for you. Uh, that night, it was, it was unexpected, you know. But as, uh, as my coach always tell me, when you hit that hole, you got to go fast. You got to be aggressive. So I think that really played a big part that night. Absolutely, and I, I know 282 yards at the fullback position. You, you almost never see that. that. That's that's old school football, and you're. It, it seems like you know you're you're bringing that back, and you know with it being the second year of the program. I mean, it's got to feel good. You probably have multiple school records already to your name just from that game alone, right? Yes, sir. That, that that's awesome. What what does it what does it mean to you to to have a a school record like that, and for you to you know you're just writing your name in history right now? Uh, it really means something to me because I've been working, you know, just I just been working. Just going hard at practice every every day. Yeah, and I, I know Keith. You, you said that that game was unexpected. What what were you really expecting for you know uh, that that game? Or that game, I was expecting a little more pass. You know, like a lot of pass plays. But I guess this game, uh, he really put trust in my hands, and I just had to do something with it. Absolutely, but I, I guess early on, you know, you scored a couple touchdowns in uh, the first half, and then you even scored your fifth one, like you know, with just seconds left. But you know. I guess the theme that I saw from watching you throughout the game is, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they, they handed it off to you, and it, it, it was very critical because that was a very close game, and it almost got flipped upside down at the end there. But the fact that, you know, Coach Hare trusted you, that, that's got to put so much confidence into you as a player, I'm sure. Yes, sir. I, I, I know week after week, Coach Hare, and even when I first met him, he, he always said, you know, he's building character and he's building men before football players, and so far that's paid off in the middle of the season for y'all. I mean, what? how have you grown at, as just even a player and a person just from things that he's taught you? Uh, he really helps us with like our character, you know, on and off the field, and that really plays a big part. But yeah, it's not, it's not really about football, but it's trying to build your character, you know? Then football comes to it. When you were picking a, a position, was there any nerve with that, or had you, 
kind of been locked on. I, I want to be running back. I want to be a fullback. What, what was that like? Because uh, I really do love blocking, you know, but at the same time, Coach Harry coming over here, I didn't know the fullbacks get the ball like that, so I just took the opportunity and I just went with it, you know? That, that's awesome. And I, I guess in that game, had you ever had that many carries in a game before? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> so, and I, moving forward, do, do you think we'll see some more, your, your carries number go up? I'm assuming we probably will. Yeah, it's going to go up. <laughs> that, that's awesome. In, in terms of, I, I also just want to talk just more about how special this program is already. I mean, you know, you know you've played in some great games already, won a couple games. And, you know, this is a, a program where many people say, like, y'all shouldn't even be playing varsity yet just because of, you know, quick turnaround, two years, kids that have never played football before. But y'all are competing at in Texas, 5A football. Well, what has it been like for you to not only just be a part of that, but just, I mean, ha have you seen this team grow just in these two years? Uh, it's been very, like, it's been very, like, happy. It's been happy to me, you know, to see everybody grow, you know. Everybody get together to make this team so what it is now, so yeah. So, yeah. so, so do, do you see a complete difference from first season to second season? Is it just a night and day difference, you think? Yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah. Well, what, what are some of the, besides the intensity, what, what are some of the other things, kind of? Well, it's kind of like how everybody carry themselves now, you know, they actually do want to play football, you know, and everybody, as soon as everybody gets to know each other, that's when football comes with it. And, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're always so excited to see you play. And, but, yeah, now we got to get back into the game, obviously. So, and I, I think I have a lot of work to do. Here we go. I need to make, if I don't make something happen here, it's, well, that's not a good start to, <laughs> to, to, to the second half. Oh, good. That's him, dude. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, man. 28 zip, dude. Oh. Yeah, he, yeah, you were taking me to school. <laughs> yeah. Got to make these. Let's count the best. <clears throat> but what is it like for you recovering after a game, especially you know that big game? Like, that, were, were you, how exhausted were you, or were you ready to go for some more? Oh nah, uh, my legs they gave out on me. I was cramping up. At, I was cramping up all night. But yeah, but the next day I felt a little bit better. Yeah. So how, how do you recover from a game? I mean, do you have any specific thing you go to or, you know, something that you kind of need for after? No, nah, I just sleep and just ice up. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Manly. Can't go wrong with either of those. <laughs> okay, Juan. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good <laughs> stuff. What's the score again? I think it's... A lot to a little. <laughs> Probably uh, what is? It? I think I think you're at 41 now or something. You got a score check. I know, man. <laughs> I was not expecting this, dude. Very humbled tonight by this. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. You're just putting it on me, man. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> man, yeah. I, I know this upcoming. Uh, uh, this week y'all have Elgin, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, what's kind of the, in terms of game plan, is there anything in particular like you see in that team, or I guess probably anything you see in yourselves as uh, y'all have grown from you know past couple weeks of playing? Oh, uh, what do I see? Uh, this game coming mm -hmm. up? Yeah. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to just play fast and very physical. Yeah. Very fast. Fast. Yeah. We got some quick dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, we there we go. I feel like they're kind of slow, right? There we go. Damn. Here we go. <laughs> Score. <laughs> You're going for the shutout. Spoiled. <laughs> that was a good play. I, I appreciate it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm disappointed that it's the scores this way, but honestly, it's a, at this point, it's a win that I'm on the scoreboard. So we're okay. You broke the egg. Yeah. There we go. Oh. How did I miss that? Yep, that's the that's the mood right there. <laughs> What's your favorite food or like type of food? Favorite food, uh, it's a, it's a Samoan food. It's called uh, pea soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. Really like that. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's corned beef. It's corned beef. Corned beef. That that's awesome. Well, what about do uh, you have like any other hobbies or like things you do in your free time? I know with being a student athlete, don't get a lot of free time. But what what are you doing when you get the chance? 
Uh, I'm either chilling with my cousins and my brothers and my sisters, uh, but mainly I be on the game or watching Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Well, what shows are you into right now? Uh, right now I'm watching this little uh, murder mystery case thing on okay. Netflix. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's okay. called uh, Reptile. Okay, okay. That, that's, that's cool. Yeah, I think this one's over, Keith. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, man, I, I was really humbled in this one. <laughs> hey, everyone's been telling me I'm I'm good at Madden. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So, I mean, Keith, just looking at your schedule, you are, I know you got Elgin this week, but what are some other matchups that kind of stick out for you? Any any kind of rivalries? Uh, I'm really looking forward to play against Belton. You know, because I heard about them boys. Belton, yeah, they're they're like a top ten team, I think, in the state. I think undefeated to this point, and so it's yeah, that that'll be a good game. Yes, sir. We've had so much fun watching you, and especially your your team. And you know, we we have great expectations for you, great expectations for Chaparral, and we know that it's going to be premier program pretty soon. And we know that you're premier player so far. And so, uh, dude, congratulations on huge game. Uh, congratulations also just being here with us. And uh, dude, we look forward to just seeing what you do the rest of the season. Thanks, sir. For KWTX News 10 and Hardwired, I'm Chad Vatherine, and next week we'll catch you back in the game. KWTX Sports, in the game.